Okay, at this point, um, let's take a look at the DSX sequencer. We said we wouldn't. Let me show you what's unique about it. Um, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll load the first one in. What I mean is I'll load a, I'll load a sequence in here, and I do a, a thing I call thumbing, where I re-trigger a sequencer. As soon as I hit the play button, I'm able to restart it. And uh, this DSX has been modified so that it outputs MIDI. And so, once again, once I get uh, a performance down or a routine down of this, of this thumbing that I do, and I change sequences, and I'll show you in a second, I'm able to then take that and download that into another sequencer again. Um, let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to load in a basic, again, a ba very basic sequence. So I'll use a couple different tracks here. Let's load in a little motif here. Very slow at first. There's something. I'll add to that. And I'm just going to be kind of uh, winging it, as we say, in the wing business. Here we go. Now, we can speed this up. And you can see every time I hit that play switch, we're right at the beginning again, which is very useful as a uh, brute force approach to syncing something up. Here's our drum machine program. What I've done is I've loaded in some other sequences, some different chords. They're just broken arpeggios like that into these different, all these different sequence locations. And what I'm able to do is, while one's playing, I can switch to another one. And what'll happen is they'll go directly to them if I reset that play switch again, like so. And then what we can do is we can record our MIDI performance into the 9000. That's what we'll try now. That's 9000 now.